Maybe we should add a rule that you can't dump sludge into the water supply. What manner of fool would do that in the first place? You're right. That doesn't need a battery. The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, amendments to the Constitution. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. That's a left-handed ammo, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. Hey. What is it this time? What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. It's covered with plans and junk. Hey! Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Oh no! I've lost it! Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. I can't, it's stuck.
Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you. Upstairs. The tape's at the end. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. I think I broke the button. Let's see, it's 101-999-57. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. I doubt they'll take it without a stamp. Touch my stamps. Cute little fella. Pony Express stamps. Yes, not the most valuable kind, but they have a lot of sentimental value to me. I don't think that would look better white. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? 
I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Hey, cutie. What brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? I'm uh, here to see you, big boy. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about Club Tentacle? Hey, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. <sighs> I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey. You came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. Ha! <laughs> you losers can't even ride tricycles. See why no one wants them as pets? Don't you recognize me? I uh, know, I, uh... Hey, aren't you the waitress from Club Tentacle? I love that place. I'd be there right now if I weren't flat broke. I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. Get away from that. That's my job. I don't... I don't think I can put that in the chronogon. Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Huh? Uh... My Pony Express down. You'll ruin my Pony Express down. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those... <laughs> ...negative feelings. Get out of here. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes.
Nah. I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage. This is no good. It isn't signed. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. What sort of person would carry around this many keys? Now there's a heavy sleeper. I don't think I can put that in the chronojohn. Not my size.
Look at him go! Buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Nineteen sixty eight, nineteen seventy four. How do you suppose the Dodgers are doing? Well, their win-loss ratio is 28% below normal. However, the successful slide margin is actually up three points since May. Hey, you can't go in there. I've noticed that they seem to do well with a man on first after a fly ball when the opposing pitcher is left-handed. What is it? Are you guys brothers? At the IRS, we're all brothers. What have you done with Dr. Fred? We've got him safely locked in the next room while we go over his books. No, you can't go in and see him. And don't even think about staging some kind of rescue. Who's your tailor? Very funny. I'll just be moseying along. Keep your nose clean, kid. Did you say you have a PP-41 facilities paraphernalia declaration over there? doesn't need that. Sure quiet in here. 
I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? I don't wanna. Nah, that might be useful. Nah, that might be useful. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Dr. Fred must still be asleep. No time for fun now. I've got to get him out of here. Hmm, I don't know. It's powerful stuff. Ted is red. See red Ted. That won't do any good.
What for? Nah, not right now. something. Everything okay in there? Well, try and keep it down, okay? That didn't do much. Dr. Fred must still be asleep. I can't carry him. That didn't do much. There is nothing attached to it. There is nothing attached to it. Mistake again. <laughs> Oof. Doctor Fred, are you okay? Doctor Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. got the contract for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Okay, so read it first. I'm busy trying to think of a way to save humanity. I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. Will you... 
please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? I'm starting up a petition to ban all tentacles. Wow! Where do I sign? Right here. Well, good luck. What do you suppose happened to Hamilton and Madison? Yes, I'm certain we told them to come on Thursday. I'll wager Madison's with that woman who makes the cupcakes again, and Hamilton's probably gotten himself into another fight. I bet they show up late and take all the credit for our work. Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crook. No, I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency. 